This video is part of the tutorial series created by the Odom Institute for Research and Social Science at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, and will demonstrate how to create and publish datasets within the UNC Dataverse. You can see in my Dataverse, I currently have no datasets. To create a new dataset, I'll click on the Add Data button and select New Dataset. On this page, you'll be prompted to enter some minimal citation metadata. So I'll put in a title. You can see my author name is pre-populated, but I could also add an author identifier scheme, such as an ORCID. Description. My subject. And I'll go ahead and add a keyword as well. After you fill in this limited metadata, you then upload your files. You can either select files or drag and drop your files. So I'm going to add an SPSS file, a questionnaire file, a code file, and a README. At this point, you can also add tags to your files. So I'll add a data tag to my data file and a code tag to my code file. You can also add more in-depth descriptions for individual files. So once I am finished uploading my files, I would then hit Save Dataset. So if you notice the ingest in progress bar, it takes a moment to ingest the SPSS file because it is one of the file types for which the Dataverse provides rich data support. Upon ingest of these files, including Stata, SPSS, Excel, CSV, and R file types, the system automatically creates a preservation tab delimited copy of the data file. This process allows the data file to be downloaded in multiple different file formats, supports the extraction of variable level metadata, and also allows exploration of the file. So I want to point out that creating a dataset does not publish the dataset, and the Dataverse clearly shows the status of a dataset through tags, so I can see this is a draft and unpublished dataset. Now that I've created a dataset, I can go back in and edit the dataset as needed by clicking on the Edit button. I can go in and add more files, um, add more metadata to enhance discoverability and understandability. And so if there are other metadata fields that you want to use but that you don't see here, you can customize the metadata fields found within your Dataverse. Uh, to learn more about further customizing your Dataverse metadata, see the Dataverse customization video. Prior to publishing your dataset, you will also want to review the terms for your dataset by clicking on Terms. All datasets within the UNC Dataverse automatically have a CC0 license applied to datasets to support the broadest reuse possible, but this is not always appropriate for all datasets. To remove the CC0 license, you would check No, Do Not Apply CC0 License and apply your own custom terms of use. From this page, you can also assign terms of access, enable access requests for restricted files, and enable guestbooks. So when you are done editing your dataset and ready to publish, you would simply click the Publish button. This message is telling me that I cannot publish this dead dataset because my Dataverse isn't published. So I will go ahead and say Yes, Publish Both. Now, if I go back to my Dataverse, I see my published dataset. Remember that after a dataset is published, you cannot unpublish it or delete a dataset. So, if you need to remove a dataset, you must deaccession a dataset, which leaves a tombstone page. To learn more about managing your Dataverse and datasets, check out the next video on managing permissions and restrictions.